Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to make a start on all the little things that we need to do and need to get in place upon loading a match. So, we're going to begin this by making a start on our fight intro script. So, we'll go ahead, we'll create a new C Sharp script, we'll call it Fight Intro, and then we'll open it for editing. So, we'll begin this script right at the very top under the using statements. We'll open and close square brackets, and inside we'll say require component, open and close brackets. And we want type of, open and close brackets again, we come inside that set, and we want the audio source. So let's just get that into the comments. Attach audio source with script if none is present. And as always, we'll begin by creating the most basic variables we're going to need. So we'll begin by saying private int <coughs> underscore, and we'll just call this round counter. We'll close that line off into the comments. Defines naming convention for the round counter and now we're going to create a series of public and what we want is texture and texture 2d underscore round one text close that line off into the comments Create slot in inspector to assign round one text. And let's just copy that twice more. So round two, we'll change the comment as well. And round three. You could also call this final round if you wish. It will not make any difference whatsoever. And under that, again, of type texture 2D, underscore fight text, close that line off into the comments. Same type of comment, create slot in inspector to assign and we'll just put fight text and we'll come below here this can be of type private audio source we'll give the audio source a name of underscore score fight intro audio source Let's clear. Let's close that line off, and we'll say defines naming convention for the fight intro audio source. And yeah, I'll well, create a line break. We'll say public, and now we're going to create of type or a series of type audio clips. Obviously we're going to call the first one round one announcement. Close that line off into the comments. Create slot in inspector to assign round one 
announcement audio clip. And just like with the textures, we'll copy and paste that in twice more. Round two, change the comments, and finally for the third round. So round three, and in the comments as well. And finally again, off type audio clip, underscore fight announcement and again just the same type of comment create slot in inspector to assign fight announcement audio clip And now we can create of type private this time, and it can be of type float. And I want a fade effect, just like we did for the main menu, only this one's going to be much, much faster. So I'll create of type private float, fight intro, fade value, close that line off into the comments. Defines fade value for the fight manager, well, fight intro GUI. And again, of type private float, fight intro, and this time we want the fade speed into the comments. Defines fade speed for the fight intro textures. And we want to create of type private bool underscore displaying. And we want displaying round first. So let's close that line off into the comments. So we'll say creates a bool to define if we are displaying the round number and text. Private bool again underscore displaying fight close that line off the comments are going to be pretty much the same creates a bool to define if we are displaying the fight text And we want of type public. Now this time we want to type static because we are going to reference this from another script. This is the variable that's going to stop our players from being able to move before the fight intro is finished. So this needs to be of type public static bool underscore fight intro finished let's close that line off into the comments same type of comment creates a bool to define if the fight intro has finished or not And of type private, and I'm going to call this fight intro state. And we'll give it a naming convention 
just with the underscore in front so underscore fight intro state let's close that line off into the comments defines naming convention for the fight intro states don't worry about the red error we're going to fix that now with a private enum with the same naming convention fight intro state without the underscore we'll open and close brackets and that should fix the error which it does so let's come to the void start and we'll begin by grabbing the audio source so underscore fight intro audio source is going to be equal to get component open and close brackets audio source come to the end of the line open and close again close that line off and please pay attention to the type of brackets that are used and we're going to say fight intro audio source we'll say equals get the and let's just put audio source component beneath that fight intro finished let's make that equal to a false into the comments fight intro finished is equal to false on startup uh, we need the fight intro and let's have a look it's the fade value we want it's going to be equal to zero close that line off into the comments fight intro fade value equals zero on startup round counter is going to be equal to one so we'll put this into the comments round counter equals one on start up displaying round is going to be equal to false close that line off displaying round equals false on start up and let's just copy that line we'll paste it in below get rid of the empty line here displaying fight still going to be equal to false and just change the comment so let's save that off there. I think we're going to leave it here for this lesson for now. So we've got a lot of the basics in place. And we'll pick this up in the very next video. So as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then as always bye for now.